Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 15th March 2020. I am Sagar I used to work in information technology, mostly based in Singapore. Now I have retired and I am living in Thailand, swing trading stocks. I use the Q systems and techniques for deciding my trades. You may watch this and other videos on trading on my YouTube channel Trading Profitably and contact me using the email id tradingprofitably at gmail.com. I regularly share stock and market analysis on my traders forum sagarnandi.com and also on the Twitter page twitter.com slash sakandandi. All these resources are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Before I begin, let me go through the disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, in today's topics, I will look at oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. Then I will demonstrate the use of the 360 degrees analysis technique. That is a technique where you can align the market level, sector level, industry level, fundamental level, as well as technical level forces with your trades and by aligning all the forces with your trades you end up with truly high probability low risk trades. That is the last slide of my presentation. I will now continue with the live system. First let me point out to the trading resources I have put together. One is the Traders Forum, sagarnandi.com. Here you can see different categories, learning center, member area, contact, etc. Once you log in, you will find more categories. Let me log in. Now you can see the additional category of Q360 degrees stock analysis. This is where I regularly share market and stock analysis using the live market. You may like to visit the category and then click on the plus icon here. That will enable you to follow the category and whenever I post a new topic you will get notified by email. The second resource is my Twitter page twitter.com at Sagarnandi. You may follow me on Twitter. I regularly share live market and stock analysis there. And the third resource is the YouTube channel youtube.com trading profitably here you can watch the market roundup videos as well as featured videos tutorials etc as i mentioned all these resources are open to the public let me now continue with the commodities analysis starting with Let's look at the oil futures. I 
am using the weekly backdrop chart template and the daily entry chart template together I call this at a glance template because using this single template you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity in only a few seconds in the weekly chart price is falling sharply the backdrop candle color is bearish this week the shape is indecisive it has an upper tail as well as a lower tail when it is indecisive like now it is better to stay away from taking a new trade in the daily price has dropped a lot far away from the lower boundary level it is clearly oversold therefore we would not like to short it now and there is no buy setup therefore we cannot take a long trade as well it's probably best to stay away from taking any trade in oil right now gold futures GC this week it created a reversal candle you can see that from the candle or you can also identify that from the reversal band indicator it was a sharp drop the backdrop candle color is bearish and the shape is also very bearish in the daily chart price dropped right after displaying the bearish headwind signal that was probably the optimal location to take a short trend from there price has dropped significantly it is oversold now shown by the stretch band indicator we are not going to take any short trade now it has already fallen below the lower boundary level gold is actually near the memory trend line support therefore if price can go up from here or even better if it pierces the memory trend line and then reverses from there creating a false downside breakout then you may look for a low risk buying opportunity at that time after the commodities analysis i continue with the market level analysis this is the highest level of the 360 degrees analysis that i carry out before deciding any trade i'm looking at the e mini futures now s p 500 futures last week in the weekly chart price closed just above the memory support line prior to that price dropped after displaying the bearish headwind signal and the drop was sharp and it had stopped above the memory support line looking at that i thought the likelihood of price going up was higher and i expressed my market outlook one week ago as bullish of course market didn't care about my market outlook it fell sharply this week in the daily chart if anybody had taken a long trade maybe not in es not in spy maybe in some of the stocks using a bounce trade setup then those long trades long bounce trades stopped out right when es dropped below this level that is the level below the weekly memory trend line support with discipline q traders should exit the long positions taken after that price has dropped thursday it dropped sharply and friday it reversed equally sharply we can see the reversal from the q pressure and pressure u-turn indicators on wednesday it had extreme bearish pressure on thursday extreme bearish pressure on friday extreme bullish pressure and bullish pressure u-turn 
on Friday price closed decisively above the two memory support lines in the daily chart and also above the two memory support lines in the weekly chart. If price can go up from here then there is a possibility of taking bounce long trade if not in e mini S&P 500 in some of the fundamentally strong stocks that are also bouncing from their respective memory support lines. NASDAQ E-mini futures NQ here also price reversed sharply on Friday however there is a memory resistance nearby therefore I am not so keen to take a long trade in NQ right now. If price can break out of the memory resistance line in the daily chart then I may look for buying opportunity in technology stocks. Dow Jones Industrial Average E-mini Futures YM it refers from the weekly watermark support level. Earlier it tried to reverse from the watermark support level above that one week ago but failed. This week we have to see if it can successfully reverse from this watermark level. Like SPY it also reversed on Friday with extreme bullish pressure. There is a likelihood that the momentum will continue at least till the declining white and yellow direction lines. Russell 2000 E-mini futures RTY this was the weakest of the four market futures and it is continuing that way you can see that from the relative performance sharply tilting down in both weekly and daily charts. Price reversed on Friday however it couldn't regain the weekly watermark support level. This is remaining the weakest therefore I am not going to look for any buy setup in RTY right now. Let me take this opportunity to point out the usefulness of the headwind signal. The headwind signal appears at price extremes in E-mini S&P 500 futures ES the bearish headwind had come right at the very top and I had shared that insight on my Twitter page on that day. That was a Tuesday. Monday was a public holiday and the bearish headwind started appearing from the morning session of Tuesday itself. Based on that at that time I closed my long positions and started taking shots. Those shots gave me a lot of profit. The bearish headwind didn't come only in ES. If you look at YM, there also the bearish headwind came at the same time. Not only that, in RTY also bearish headwind came on the same day. What about NQ? NQ didn't have a bearish schedule in the weekly chart. However, it came in the daily chart at the very top. The headwind signal didn't only come in the market futures. It came in the market ETFs also. If we look at SPY, the bearish schedule came in the weekly chart at the very top. Dia bearish headwind came in the weekly chart at the very top. IWM series of bearish headwinds came in the weekly chart at the very top. And QQQ. Here, similar to NQ, the bearish headwind came in the daily chart at the very top. As I always say, when the headwind signal appears in multiple related instruments then you may be extra cautious. 
not only that, if you look at the market breadth, the market breadth is looking at NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index, both using weekly charts. You can see the bearish headwind came again at the very top, both for NASDAQ and NYSE. Those signals help me protect my equity and in fact add to my profit when the price fell. Now I can see that NASDAQ regained the weekly memory support line and NYSE closed above the weekly watermark support line. Because of the sharp drop for three weeks, we don't expect the new high low to turn positive. However, see, just Friday's reversal, one day's reversal that was so forceful that turned the advanced decline for both NASDAQ NYSE as well as up down volume for both NASDAQ and NYSE. All of them turned positive. Therefore, overall, we have to say that the market breadth based on the weekly interval is more bullish than bearish. Time to make a call on the market outlook. What did we see? The market breadth is overall bullish this week. SPY bounced up from the weekly memory trendline support. However, NQ is just below memory resistance. And the other two market ETFs, YM and RTY, they are not giving much of a bullish signal and they are down a lot. So I am not going to look for shorting opportunity also. Combining all that, I'm going to make my market outlook neutral this week. Neither bullish nor bearish. Is it possible to look for a buying opportunity? I think yes. Because the Friday's reversal was very forceful and SPY bounced from memory line, memory trend line support. If I am going to look for a stock buying opportunity, I am going to focus on bounce long trade setup. Later on, I will try to identify such bounce long opportunities. Now let's look at the sector performance. I am looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bars represent this week's performance green bars previous week's performance and blue bars two weeks performance before that. This week the sectors are very bearish. All the sectors decline and as the red bars show they decline by very large percentages. The sector graph is clearly bearish. We saw that the market reversed on Friday. How did it change the sectors? Let's look at that from the QH sector industry rotation tool. Here you can see that on Friday, all the sectors went up. Energy went up the most. It went up by 28.3%. And all the other sectors are also went up by large percentages. However, notice that Friday's reversal was not enough to change the weekly performance to positive. The weekly performance remained negative. How negative? You can have a view of that. Over five days, the sectors went down between 9.5 to 21.5%. That is in spite of the significant up move on Friday. The sector performance is clearly bearish. The market is exhausted. That is why 
if I am going to look for any long trade setup, I am going to look for a long trade setup that is based on exhaustion. And Q bounds trade setup is the one that allows me to look for exhaustion based buying opportunities. How may you go about identifying the potential bounds long trading opportunities? You can do that in multiple ways if you are using Q global on meta stock. There are a number of explorers scans one of them is for finding bounds long trade setup you can run that alternatively you can run these two compound scans they scan for multiple long and short signals at the same time i have run these two scans on a list of stocks i ran it on this list of stocks having 1322 stocks all of those are liquid stocks with at least five years of history you could look at the scan output let's look at the long scan output it has a number table we can copy the data into Q trade finder paste it there go back to the short scan copy the data come back to Q trade finder short tab download the data there let's have a look at the summary tab it is decidedly more bullish on Friday out of all the symbols 1088 symbols had a bullish signal on Friday only four had bearish signal and in terms of total number of signals across all the symbols there were 1993 bullish signals and only five bearish signals and the bullish signals were across many different categories even in terms of gap up move there were 273 stocks with gap up move some traders are saying that the market went up after US President Mr. Trump made an announcement on Friday but this data shows that is not true because 273 stocks had gap up on Friday that is at market open and President Trump's announcement came very late in the afternoon on the other hand no gap down move so the market was bullish from the morning itself in terms of bound setup that we are trying to look for 51 stocks gave possible bounce long setup and only one gave possible bounce short setup we are not going to look for bounce short candidate in this market market has already dropped a lot we may look for bounce long candidates for that we may go to the long signal step filter for the bounce long signals and you can see several of the stocks went up with that signal went up by heavy percentages that is one way you can look for bounce setup from this trade finder the other way as i mentioned was to run the scan for the long bounce explorer and look at the stocks that are coming from there if you are using q elite on trade station the trade station technical trading system you may run the q long bounce scan and if i ran it on a number of stocks i got this list in trade station you may also use the radar and you can see the same symbols are coming in radar also they are giving possible bounce long candidate the bounce column is lit up with green color meaning they are giving possible bounce long setup let's look at the first stock adbe adobe what do we see here in the weekly chart 
it came precisely to the memory train line support and reversed from there. And the dollar symbol is showing that the drop and the reversal came around earnings. The earnings symbol is there in the daily chart also and in the daily chart price hit the memory support and then sharply reversed with extreme bullish pressure and bullish U-turn. This is giving a possible bounce long trade setup in terms of technicals. What about Adobe's fundamentals? Let's find out from Vital. that's the fundamental and peer analysis tool. I'm going to use Adobe as the root stock. I am using peer relationship as industry plus, that is it is going to look for stocks in the same and similar industries. It has already retrieved some basic data about the stock. It is making money, EPS is positive, no dividend. Positive alpha, strong positive alpha, 21.91. And over five days, volume is going up relative to 30 days volume. Next earnings is in June, 16th June, so we have some time before that. It has retrieved the peers now. Total 68 stocks in the peer group and it has updated the vital statistics. From here you can see the valuation is good. It is undervalued stock with a strong earnings quality. The earnings growth in the quarterly periods as well as the yearly periods is very strong strong earnings and revenue growth is also positive in the last three quarters as well as last three yearly periods fundamentally this is a very strong stock and technically also it is giving a bounce long trade setup you may look for a buying opportunity in this stock right now When the market reversed so sharply on Friday and S&P 500 bounced up from memory support, you would expect more stocks to bounce, not just Adobe. And in fact, several stocks gave a bounce long trade setup. And on Friday, during market hours, based on live analysis as usual, I shared on my Twitter page, twitter.com, Sagarnandi, a bounce candidate in this stock CCMP. Let's look at the snapshot that I shared and what time did I share it? At around 1 p.m. 12.57 p.m. on Friday. How did the chart look like at that time? This is how it looked like. In the weekly it was bouncing up from memory support and also watermark pivot support in the daily it was reversing from near the memory support level it displayed bullish pressure and bullish pressure u-turn and the bull release signal the bull release signal appeared on the chart also and this was happening when price was at extreme low or pendulum low those situations give rise to very low risk buying opportunities. In addition, in the daily chart as well as in the weekly chart, these two indicators, the jump indicator and the thrust indicator, they were showing severe exhaustion. The exhaustion to the downside is shown by the red or magenta dots. You can see both weekly as well as daily charts were severely exhausted. If you look back, whenever this severe exhaustion happens, especially in the weekly chart, they tend to coincide with a bottom. After that price tends to recover, at least somewhat, enough to give a buying opportunity. And when there is extreme exhaustion to the top side, usually lead to a price drop 
at least enough to take a profitable swing short trade. Now it is exhausted to the downside both in weekly as well as daily chart and the bounce long setup is appearing from there price is bouncing up from the memory support these situations tend to give rise to very low risk and high probability buying opportunity this is one setup that i share now let's look at the same stock ccmp using fine tune real time chart here i am using 5 minute interval when did i share the idea around this time around 12:57 pm eastern standard time it takes me a while to create the post i probably entered the trade at this point using the bullish flow color the cyan color in the 5 minute chart and at that time price tried to go below the blue pivot level that is the days open but reverse from there giving a cyan flow color candle i could buy the stock right at the close of that five minute bar and for that day i could put the stop just below the recent low or you could set it to the day's low as of that time after that price steadily went up what was the profit in the trade within the day itself let's find out from the close of the sand color candle to the close of the day it went up by more than 14 percent so the trade that i could find using the bounce long setup gave me 14 percent profit during the day itself i could probably book partial profit and hold on to remaining position trying to let profit run this bounce setup is an extreme reversal setup however this is not the only reversal setup that is available in q systems the headwind signal also gives reversal trades remember e mini gave the reversal signal at the very top so was true for that was e mini s p 500 and the same signal came for dow futures etc if the bearish reversal could point to the top we could probably start to look for buying opportunities using bullish headwind reversal signal and i shared such a possible buying opportunity on the traders forum This is the traders forum. Again, sagarnandi.com is the address. And once you log in, you can see this category 360 degree stock analysis. I shared one idea on Friday. That was this one. Even in this weak market, Q systems can help you find buying opportunities. Here is one. Let's look at the post how did i find it i found it from q edge inside q edge the sector industry rotation tool also has one inside tab and in that tab you can find best performing and worst performing stocks under various categories one of the categories is best performing undervalued stock and it is a real time system all the q systems are fully real time I could use it and find this opportunity in the morning itself before lunch time Eastern Standard Time as of 10.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Dorian LPG the ticket symbol is LPG appeared there it is in oil and gas storage and transportation industry in the energy sector energy sector as you noticed was the best performing sector on friday and in the morning session itself i found this undervalued stock dorian lpj and it was up by 15 percent as of that time that is how i found it and as usual i shared the 360 degrees analysis snapshot 
the industry was starting to improve. It was showing some acceleration as well. You can see the acceleration from the pace column. This is how the chart looked like. The weekly was giving a long lower tail candle that was bullish and the daily displayed a bullish headwind signal and price also could recover above this watermark support level. The headwind came along with extreme bullish pressure and bullish pressure you turn and it displayed the bull release signal as well. Remember the thrust and jump indicators in the weekly they were exhausted. Same was true in the daily as well. This was also giving a possible low risk buying opportunity using the headwind reversal trade setup. I had attached the fundamental snapshot also. I got it from the inside category best performing undervalued stock. So you could know that it was undervalued and you can see that from the scorecard also valuation is great with a short squeeze potential and it has excellent earnings growth as well in the quarterly periods and two of the last yearly periods revenue growth in the last three quarterly periods also. Fundamentally, it is looking very strong. I had also attached the percentage performance of the industry. When I shared it, it was the industry as a whole was already up by 4.8%. That was LPG and I shared it around 10 47 a.m. in the morning session how did the stock end the day let's check it out this is lpg as of days close now the weekly chart is decidedly more bullish clearly bullish shape hollow body as well as long lower tail that is bullish and the bullish doing signal has come the daily candle shape is very bullish the headwind long trade setup has a checklist, unambiguous checklist, like the other Q trade setups and all the checklist conditions are being met. I could buy it in the morning session itself somewhere here. I could probably book some profit by the end of the day or I could wait for price to hit or approach this memory resistance lines in the daily chart. That would be the logical first exit point. In this manner, you can use the reversal trade setups that we have in Q trading system to look for buying opportunities when the market is down a lot. In such a market, you are not going to find attractive trend following buy setups. Many people like to take only trend following trades. However, Q traders are very comfortable taking reversal trades also, so long as the checklist conditions are met. And I shared two trades, one in bounce category, one in headwind category that gave reversal trade setup buying candidates on Friday. You could probably find many other reversal trade setups on Friday. Let me summarize. My overall market outlook is now neutral. The market is clearly exhausted. You can see that from the sharp drops for last three weeks you can see that from the oversold condition seen from the thrust and the jump indicators across the board at the same time s p 500 bounced up from memory support the market breadth is overall bullish and several stocks also bounced up they gave possible reversal trades buying opportunities using either bounce setup or headwind setup or you could find reversal long candidates using the long box setup as well. In this manner whatever be the market conditions 
you are usually able to find low risk buying opportunities high probability buying opportunities using the queue systems that is all that i plan to share in today's session other than these weekly market roundup videos i used to conduct live market meetup webinars i used to share not only USA market insights but also global market insights. All the markets are interlinked nowadays, the major markets. I am thinking of starting those live market meetups. I will probably use YouTube live for that. And if I end up taking those sessions, I will share the link on my Twitter page and also probably email to the forum members. If you have subscribed to the forum using a valid email ID, you may get notification through email as well. Thank you once again for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.